How it goes, the family? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully, you guys are having a great, exceptional day. Happy MLK Day. As I said in my previous video, nothing but love for Dr. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. And uh, rest in peace to him. And um, um, nothing but peace and love and respect to him and his family and all that great stuff. All right. So, it's been a week, over a week, and it's time for my poem. So, it's time for, I mean, this poem is called It's Time for Women to Face the Truth Poem. And next week, I'll be doing a poem about It's Time for Men to Face the Truth Poem. So, I'm not, I don't do gender wars. Trust me on that one. It's not necessary. So it's 2024, and I don't need any more unnecessary drama knocking at my door. And let's be honest, and let's be clear. Most women fear ending their lives without having a significant other. Then they have um, to rely more and more on their kids or sisters or, and brothers. Listen up, ladies. Men with options, meaning men with options, aren't checking for most of you. Don't get mad. Don't get sad. And trust me, this isn't a fad. It's just, it's just life and things change for all of us. Um, things change for all of us. Most of us don't go all out of our way to fuss. Online about having great expectations all across this wonderful nation. Now, whether you're fat, thin, thick, doesn't mean a thing. Because in my personal opinion, if a woman wants to get that ring, then having a lot of baggage translates into going out like a big, 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 big bang. In today's social media world, people have popped out their short or very, very long, crazy fangs like a vampire because hostility is growing is a growing thing in these Internet streets. And to be perfectly honest, men and women are stomping their feet yet. And still you all you all both men and women out here need to have several. And I definitely mean have um, several seats. Family have several seats. Too many people want to live in a virtual fantasy world and get mad when reality sets in. This is why I like having a reality first mindset. I have very, very little time to doze off and play pretend. It would be nice, but I tend to live in the real world and I live with it. It life's ultimate gift should always, and I mean always involve trying to go all out of your way to uplift, but most from coast to coast, always decide to post nonsense like where are the real men at a man should be this a true man should be that and hey i hate to become the person out here that has to put pull the rabbit out of the hat but if you are a woman who doesn't have a quote unquote positive male figure growing up then to the what a true man conversation is you truly um cannot contribute two cents and definitely not a buck now, I know what I'm saying can make people become a volcano and are ready and always ready to freaking erupt. But let's be honest, it's time for all of us to become way more positive, productive and try uh, to construct because building is all about working together and figuring things out. At the end of the day, family, I am all about telling it like it is, grown folks handling their biz and going all out of the way to become a great whiz. So ladies, get it together, because if you do not if you do not, being lonely is going to be a thing forever and ever. Don't be sneaky and don't be clever. Be honest, be yourself, and hopefully you'll be able to obtain a multitude of wealth in various different aspects. So become a good person and do the great thing called CTC, collect the check. Now, with this poem, it might seem like I'm picking on women. I'm not, but there's no perfect gender out there. Men are not perfect. Women are not perfect. It is what it is. I get, you know, so if it seems like I'm getting on the ladies next week, I'll be getting on the men and I'm putting it out there. Not that I'm an expert, but this is just, and this isn't public opinion. This is just, you got to keep it real and be realistic about your expectations because, you know, there's a growing number of people that are getting married. I myself am in that category. It's because a lot of the men don't believe in marriage anymore because, it, because, um, most People that file for divorce are usually the women. And nine times out of 10, the men lose financially. They, they lose half their stuff. They build a life with somebody. Um, and then they end up losing half their stuff or lose everything. So especially the younger guys, I'm in the 40s crew. So I, and uh, us being in the information age, I can see a lot of guys in their 20s being like, uh, I don't sign contracts that don't benefit me, you know? And that is the thing. They're like, hey, what is the point of getting a ring? And what's the point of... Um, you know, getting the license if 
if it doesn't work out, I could lose half my shirt and, I, and I'm a hard worker. And I'm talking about the men that are about something that have something going on or have the potential to become um, whatever that's going to put them in a better category, in a better situation of living financially, health-wise, et cetera, and so forth. So those kind of guys, with, those guys with options are the guys that are like, hey, I'm good. I don't need these headaches. You know, just like a female, what options? The, the only difference is, unfortunately, like if you look at a lot of celebrity women who um, have options, um, but because their personality is so stank um, and, and intolerable, they usually end up being single or they usually end up with a guy that doesn't have options, a.k.a. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. She got, you know, back with the, her ex-husband or ex-boyfriend um, that was fresh out of rehab and whatnot. I have nothing against Jennifer Lopez. I have nothing against Ben Affleck. I'm just making a specific point that she's been through thousands of relationships because the men were sane enough to be like, I'm good. <laughs> okay, I got to go. It's not worth it. So then she has to go back to the, to, to the ex, the guy with no options. Okay, so that's, and that's the way to, so a lot of times the females deal with the guys that have no options. Same thing with the men. Um, but should it be that way? No, but it is when you have options, you look at things differently in this life from a financial standpoint and definitely from a relationship standpoint. A lot of people don't like to hear that, but it's just a reality thing. But will it work out for you? Nine times out of 10, yes. Nine times out of 10, no. It just depends on the situation. It's very, it's a very subjunctive subject matter. But at the end of the day, if you're dealing with somebody who has options and you act a fool on them, they're going to be, they're going to be like, have a nice life. Or as they say in Spanish, Bio con Dios, go with God, and they're going to move on with themselves. So on that note, do the great thief things. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. And as I always say, make money move so you're going to live broke like a fool. Take care.